Hello everyone. Uh, the topic we cover today is theories of emotion. So before going to the theories of emotion, just we'll see the meaning of uh, emotion. So what is an emotion? It is our day-to-day -day experiences. Means daily we are experiencing one or the other type of emotion. So while coming to this emotion, it is derived from a Latin word that is a emovier. Okay, there is a Latin word emovier. From this particular word, the word emotion has been derived. And the meaning of emovier is nothing but stirred up or to excite. Or similar way we can say emotion is an excited state of an individual or the stirred up state of an individual. And purely it is a private experience we can say. And as a result of this emotion, there will be developing certain behavior for that particular individual. So that is the just meaning of emotion. Now we'll see the definition of emotion. So while coming to the de uh, definition, the emotion which is defined as a subjective response that is usually accompanied by physiological changes and associated with the changes in behavior. So the definition detail we'll see now. So it is a subjective response, subjective response in the sense it is happening inside the individual itself. That's why we say it is a subjective response and usually it is accompanied by physiological changes. So what happens? There is a situation. So a uh, situation that produces the emotion. According to that situation, suppose if there is a dog is coming to you or you are seeing a snake. So certain physiological changes will happening in our body, like our heart it, heartbeat will be increasing, our respiratory rate will be increasing, or we will be producing with a sweating. So certain changes may be happening. So we termed as a physiological responses or physiological changes. And as a result of this one, certain behavior will be there. That means sometimes we may be developing with a fear or we may be happy or we may be angry. So these are the certain behaviors which is produced as a result of this particular emotion. So that is the definition of emotion. And broadly if you say there are two types of emotion. There is a positive type of emotion and there is a negative type of emotion. So if you say the positive type of emotion, we can say it is a pleasant type of emotion and usually it is beneficial for the individual. Say like happiness, joy, curiosity, okay, etc. will uh, give certain pleasantness to the individual. And there is a second type of in, uh, emotion we can say negative emotion. So these are the unpleasant emotional experiences we can say. And it doesn't produce any beneficial effect for the individual. Say like angry, fear, a negative feeling. So all these things are the uh, negative emotions we can say. Now we'll move to the theories of emotion. So there are mainly three important theories are there. So we'll see one by one. Come to the first theory, that is the James Lang theory. So while coming to the James Lang theory, this particular theory, which is proposed by two psychologists, William James and Carl Lang. Okay. Do two persons, they have given this particular theory. So according to the uh, James Lang theory, so what they say, first we'll perceive a situation that produces an emotion. So according to the perception of this emotional state or the situation, there are certain physiological changes that happens in our body. As a result of these uh, physiological changes, we will experience with the emotion. So ex one example, if you see, if you see a snake, according to James Lang theory, I'm saying, if you see a snake, what happens? We'll be getting certain physiological response. Our heartbeat increases, our respiratory rate increases, we may feeling the shivering. So as a result of that one, we will be experiencing the fear. So that means if we see a snake, I am trembling and I am getting fear. Okay, that is the uh, theory which is given by James Lang. Come to the next theory, that is the Cannonball theory. So this Cannonball theory, which is uh, proposed by Walter Cannon and Philip Bad. So two persons, they had given this theory. So according to them, so what they say is the emotional experiences. So here the physiological responses or the body arousal or what we can say the experiencing emotion, both are independent. Or 
both will be happening at the same time. That means, uh, what are the situation which produces emotion? The same time, we'll feel the physiological responses and we'll feel the emotion. So the same example we'll see. So here, what they say, if we, if we see a snake, at the same time, we are getting a shivering or we, and we are getting the fear, according to uh, can and bud theory. Come to the third one, that is the Schachter Singer theory. So this theory, which is given by or put forward by Stanley Schachter and Jerome Singer. So though, uh, two scientists, they have given this particular theory. So what they say is here, they are saying that uh, the emotional experiences, it is a result of our cognitive level. The cognitive level is nothing but the cognitive appraisal or the emotional situation, there will be an appraisal or examination will be happening in our brain. So as a result of the cognitive arousal or the cognitive appraisal or we can say the cognitive label. So okay, as a result of cognitive label and physiological changes or body arousal will experience the emotion. So that is the concept which is given by Schachter and Singer theory. So there are three important theories in the uh, emotion. First one is James Lang theory, second one is Cannonball theory and the third one is Schachter Singer theory. So today we have seen regarding the emotion, what are the types of emotion and theories of emotion. So that's all for today's class. Uh, this is Vishan signing off till we meet the next class.